Hi, it's Fiona Fernandez of Piemont and I'm going to put this card together. I've been doing the Stamper of the Month for our the team that I'm in and this is one of the cards I'm going to be posting up this week and I also run card and cuppa classes where people come to my class in a cafe and we make things from, we use the kits collection. So this kit here is called City Science Kit are the new ones and you make all the things here in the picture but you can change it up as well and use other things with it if you want to it comes with full instructions and so I'm not doing the kit today I'm going to make up another card another variation of this card and show you how I made that so let's get started let's pop that over there so I can see it <laughs> put on the sideboard so first of all I cut a card now I'm going to do this one opposite to the other one. So I did this one with Knight of Navy card on the outside and Misty Moonlight on the, the top here. But I'm swapping that over this time. And I'm going to do Knight of Navy on the top. So I've got that in my folder here. And I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight as the base. So we cut our base. So these are half A4 sheets. And you cut it, the A4 is that way. So you cut it right down the middle. And that works out at 14.85 and then fold it at 11 and a half centimeters 11 and a half, 10 and a half sorry 10 and a half and then burnish it with your fold, burning phone folder and then you've got your card ready to go so I'll just pop that up there and I pop this through the machine now the reason I'm doing it offset a little bit to the center is because I'm going to do it again like this so I put that under there and I want my main circle to be off a little bit but I want it to line up with the dots so if I cut one out already I'll just put it there like that it shows me where it's going to sit that way I don't have as much on this side and then I'll have room for the moon over this side and I'll just pop that through my emboss machine I won't bring that over to the table though I've got a lot on the table already so we'll just pop that through so always put it through the folded side first the hinge side first and your machine will tell you to put it on with the base plate one and four I'll just roll that through your machine now the other thing that you can do I haven't done it this time is put a little tiny spritz of water onto your cardstock and that helps to the embossing this one seems to work all right without it I might try it on the other one I'm going to use a different embossing folder for the next one so that's that one so that embossing folder is one of the new ones and it's very big dotted circle 3d embossing folder lovely lovely folder so that's what that looks like I'll be placing that on that side. That looks good too, doesn't it? With the let me get the light on that. Turn the other light off for a second. Sometimes I get better light going the other way without that on. See that? It's cool. So that way that will sit about there. Where I had it. Where I had it. I've gone off a little bit. That's not good, is it? <laughs> I went off a bit. I have to come over and do it this way so we can see this line get moved a bit when I stuck it through the thing. Doesn't really matter. That'll be okay. All right, so that's going to be that piece. So we'll just put those over there for a minute. And I've got an extra piece because I'm going to do another card after. So then we're going to use a piece of this is called Smoky Slate cardstock, and I've just done one like this and I'm just going to stamp in Night of Navy and I'm going to use my, my moon, just put this card out of the way. Get a bit of ink on that. 
and I'm doing it so that these little pieces are up so I've looked at the packet and I'm trying to do it up about the same start that on there Give it a good press there we go I'm wondering where the other one was misty moon right now that doesn't look as dark does it I might try the misty moonlight with the other one and see how that goes I'm change it up a little bit too so they're not all the same I won't clean that off because it's very similar color but I think my night of misty moonlight is a little bit wetter look I get a bit more ink on that see the ink I'll do this one with this one Yeah, that one comes out much darker, doesn't it? Not that it really matters. One can be light, one can be dark, but it's okay. Don't forget to clean your stamps in between. Now, while we've got... No, we'll put that away. <laughs> we'll get another ink. So with this one, I'm going to cut it out with the circle punch, and I've got the two and three eighths. So this will give us a tiny bit of a border. The other one I'd actually die cut with something, and then I ended up trimming it off. But with this one, I decided we'll go this way, because then we get a nice circle. That's a nice, I actually quite like the shading on that now. <laughs> Just line that up carefully. Cheeky. And I always go down about half with the punches. No, that's not quite right. Go down about halfway and hold it and then punch. Right, there's two, so I'm going to use one of the. I'm not sure which one I'll use on there yet, but one of them. Okay, so that was the two and three eighths punch. Circle punch. Now, to do these ones, I might do them both at the same time anyway. I'm making two cards, so it's good to have everything ready to do a few things. So, with this one, we're going to use Knight of Navy, and I'm going to use the stamp out of the the city what's it called city sites kit all right just need another stamp block and there's my other block I'll get the moon one off my moon away and put that so I can see it you want to see all of this one so what I've done with this one I've stamped this using a die cut. So I die cut the circle for this. So I'll show you what that is. I've used the Spotlight on Nature dies. And I cut a circle out. Let me see which one I cut for this one. I just used one of the dies. So I've used the big one for this. And that's out of that new basic beige cardstock. And then I've used the next die down, the next size, just to cut a circle out of paper, just normal paper. And I'm using that as a mask. And then I just keep it with my stamp set so that I can use it again. See? So that way we can mask this here a little bit. And just sort of put it to one side. And because I've already done it once, I sort of know where to line it up. <laughs> That'll be handy, won't it? But if you haven't done it already, we'll look at it. Oh no, the other side's got stuff on it as well. You just line it up around the base. It's not going to fit perfectly. I, I wanted it really close to the bottom. So I'll just go like that. Just double check it. Move it back and forward a little bit. And then you can... Oh, where's my stickies gone? 
I need, I need all the stickies. Hang on a second. Whoop. I'm not going to get a sticky. Have to put them somewhere else. Can't see the stickies. I'll get another sticky. Let's hope I've got it in the right spot. Oops, that one over there. So that one will be up around there. Mm, I need that to sit on the ground. <gasps> Little tiny piece of sticky there. I'm a little bit close there, am I? to double check before I do it. Oh. <laughs> Moving everything. Ah. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'll take that one off there. Let's hold that together up the top. Okay. Now with this one Nick it up. Give me a nice bit of ink on there. And then I'm going to go down the bottom because I want it to go off the bottom. Just off the bottom. Push it down. Oh, didn't work on that bit there. That's a pain. That's a shame, isn't it? Always when you're videoing, it doesn't work. <laughs> Worked alright the other day. Clean it off. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I need to put it on the. I don't remember what I did the other day. Put it on this stamp and piece mat. I think that's what I did. I'll fix that one up. I should be able to fix it up if I put a bit more ink on that bit of the stamp and then just stamp over it. So I'm going to leave that one like that. I'll put that one over there. Where's my other circle going? Another circle. I'll come back to that one. The other thing you can do if you do that is put, instead of putting the sentiment up the top, or you could put a cloud. So I've got clouds on there. So I could put a cloud over that as well, and that would totally cover that up. So we'll have a think about that. I like to improvise when I do things. <laughs> do, do stuff like that. It's not the end of the world. Just think of something else to do with it. And I'll just cover that one up. Got one of these stickies. I don't think it'll stick as well, but just hold that one on there. Right, let's try again. Got enough ink on there. I think I had enough ink on it. Just didn't press hard enough on that bit, especially because there's a bit of paper there. You've got to make sure, because you've got the paper here, you've got to make sure you press down hard enough on it. a good push in that piece there. That's better. Yeah, see that worked better. I'll worry about the other one afterwards. Oh, we might get it done. Let's see how it goes. Let's get all your ink out of your stamp. And use your spray mist when you've finished all your stamping. And your stamp and scrub. If you don't know what that is, it's one of these. One of these. 
and you put your spray mist on one side and you just wipe it dry on the other side it's a very handy tool okay so that's our card so far so let's just have a look at it I'm sure if I use that one or that one I'm going to put a few clouds on and then I might use that on the other card and we need a sentiment on here so I've got a few different ones sitting around here God. so this little happy birthday here would go nicely that's the loveliest tree I did happy birthday on the other one but I was thinking of maybe doing something else on this one I haven't put the tag on there yet let's just pull that but that little sentiment would fit there really nicely I'm thinking about doing something different though. I've got this little stamp set Unbounded Love And that's got a nice little happy birthday as well. Oh, it's bigger than that. Hang on. <laughs> no, don't want to get in on everything. That one. Oh, could put that one on there. That actually looks nice, doesn't it? That happy birthday. But with this one, you could put so many different things on there. You could put best of luck. Your a true blessing. There's lots of things that will fit on here. Celebrate. Celebrate looks good. Um, just so many things on that one. See? Look at them all. Right, which one will we do? Um, oh, I quite like that happy birthday. I think I'll do that one. This one. Now it's going to be a bit tricky because it'll I'll have to put the moon over a little bit more. Just work out where I want it. It needs to be quite close to that. I'm going to keep the mat under here. No, it needs a bigger one. I've got a cloud on this one. <laughs> There's a cloud on there. Alright, so we just have a good look at it. It's just, just above that. And we can always move the moon over a little bit. Put enough ink on there. It looks alright. And... I'm going to go just a bit above that. Give it a good little push. Oh, I love that. That looks gorgeous. Yeah, I really like that. Just leave that on there for a minute, I think. Maybe we'll do the other one. Maybe we'll do them all the same. Now that we've got that stamp out. I really like it. If you wanted to stamp it so the buildings were the other way around, you could. And then you could have the happy birthday coming from the other side. So the way to do that is to stamp onto the sheet, the backing sheet that you get with your stamps. The other way to do it is the little silicon sheet. There's a few ways to do it. The little silicon sheet. Let's get a piece of cardboard. I've got to stamp some clouds yet, don't I? I'm going to keep some for clouds. <laughs> but I'll just show you that little technique. So if you stamp onto your, and I've done it on both before. The, the clear, I won't do it on the clear now. I'll do it on the silicon sheet. Just make sure it's fluff free. Give that a bit of a wipe. Stamp your stamp onto there. And it probably wouldn't work if you're doing the circle thing, but if you put that over the top, you might do you go there. And rub it on. Oh, I've missed a little bit there, but it doesn't matter. And then you get it around the other way, look. So you could then put your birthday stamp over that corner. So 
I might cut that out and use it on something else. <laughs> just a quick little tip for you. And then you just wipe it off with your chamois. A wet chamois would be good. Let me get the other one. That one's drying out a bit. See, this comes off on the chamois. Just make sure you get all the ink off it. really good tool to have in your kit that little shim the silicon silicon mat silicon mat silicon sheet I can't remember which one it is it's one of those all right we need to clean that stamp off and we need to do some clouds so the clouds I did out of the what do you think <laughs> no, what color I did it was grey. Uh, so I think I'll use smoky state to match the card, the other cardstock. And we've got a cloud here. And I cut these out. I fussy cut them. the other one with another sheet of paper got all these old bits lying around keep your little scraps so go there was smoky slate won't cut them all out right now we'll only just finish putting one card together I think you just fussy cut around in clouds feel free to zoom through this bit You can hear the car racing. <laughs> That's my neighbours. We must play those car racing games all the time. It's funny. Sounds like I'm at a racetrack. It's raining outside today. Lots of cold, wet weather coming. Sorry if I went off screen then. <laughs> Oops. Two. Do that now. I'll finish the other ones later. So I will show you though this little um I'm gonna do this that one with this embossing folder. So this is another embossing folder. Uh so swirly and it's a big one again. So these are the new one. I just thought I'd do this one different. Again, we can go that way or we can go that way. I don't think it really matters. Just 
going to be, I might go this way on this one. But again, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter which way I go. So this one is, okay, so there's a difference here. When you're putting them through your machine, the first one we used said 3D. This one doesn't say 3D. So when you're putting it through your machine, you want to read your plate, number one, and it says use number one and four with the 3D embossing folders and one and the two threes, the clear plates. You don't use the other white plate. So we want to use this one. That's the number three with the three in the corner. And we want to put that on because that's thinner. And then we want our other three. That is a three. <laughs> My three's disappeared. <laughs> My three's rubbed off. Okay, just roll that through. So again, you put it through the hinge first. And then you end up with a lovely embossed piece of Oh, I forgot to spray it for you. Never mind. Try spraying it with water. These are working quite well, but you can spray them with water and you get a little bit more depth. Just a, a fine shimmery spray. They're still lovely though. They look great. So that one is going to go on my other card, the Night of Navy. So one side of it, this side's sitting up. But you could turn it over and use it the other way as well. It really it's up to you which way you put it on your card. But I'll just do it that way. And I'll put one of them on there. And the other one. I'm just wondering about the clouds. Just wondering whether I should just stick the cloud over that. And that I might look better on that one, I think. Let's have a look at them both. I haven't done the <laughs> I haven't done the fold on this one. You can feel it, you know, if you haven't done it. It sits up more. I think I'll just stick the cloud over that. Improvise. Because we can just do another cloud up here like the other one. And that one can have a cloud there. And a cloud there. And no one will know except the people that watch the video. <laughs> that I was, you know. It's nice, isn't it? The moon's coming out of the clouds. Alright, so that'll happen there. And then we're going to put a piece of ribbon on there. Let's just do it that way. A piece of that ribbon and I've got some of this ribbon to go on one of them. So just chop a piece off that goes a bit wider than your card. So you want to have a little bit of fold over underneath on this card here. So I think I went up about, look I tend to do it per card depending on what I'm doing. So my ribbon on this one is up two in two centimeters from the bottom of the top. Have I got two? Some we yeah, have approximately that. So you want to do that first before you put your things on. And I just do that with a bit of tear and tape. And because I've got this glass mat, now the glass mat is going to be available now um, to demonstrators can buy it now and pre-order and customers in July. So that is exciting. So exciting. All right, so we've got measurements on here. So if I go to the base of, let me just go to that one. Hang on, I need to go over a little bit. Get that one out of the way. Because I want to see, so these are centimeters. So I want two there. This is what I do sometimes. Hang on, I'll rip that off. And I like doing it on the glass mat because you can stick it on and then lift it back up. So that's two centimetres up from the bottom of the actual card. So I want to go a tiny bit, whoops, I touched it then. 
Oh no, that's this thing, isn't it? The top. Sorry, this is the top panel. And I want to go two centimeters. So we've got. Oh, give me a right spot for that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting the right spot. I'm lining it up with this line here. Let's right, sit right. Okay, now we've got one, two. One, two. One, two. And push it down that side. Make sure that's in the right spot. If you don't have a glass mat to do this with, you can use that silicon sheet that I was using a minute ago and put it over the top of the grid paper so you can see the grid through it. And then this just lifts up off the mat. I love it. Fold the ends under like that. Give it a good little rub because it's got to stick to that card. And then just peel your corners, your backs off. Oh, not like that. If it won't come off straight away and it lifts the back off, don't force it. Just push it down with your take your pick tool. Love this thing. It's so handy, this tool, for so many things. Now we can pop that on there and then pop our ribbon over the top of the. Again, you could line it up with the grid if you want to. I'm just looking at the ribbon and the sticky tape. And I'm just getting it along the bottom line of the tape, uh, of the ribbon, sorry. And then that just lifts up. I actually lifted that off there. Oops. Gotta push that back now. You don't really want to pull that off like I did then. Try and do that without pulling it off the card. The other thing, if you don't want to stick it onto the mat like that stick it onto the silicon sheet because it won't stick to the silicon sheet. Just just check that because it looks a bit off. One, two, three, four. And yeah, this one went off a little tiny bit off to the side. Lift this one up. See how I haven't gone right to the bottom of that tape? And lift that up a little bit just a little bit because I didn't go right down to the bottom that's better that's better I could see the difference once you stick everything on once all these are stuck over the top as long as those sides are right it's good to go all right, I think I'll just use my Tombow. Put a bit of glue on this because it's got to stick on the pieces that are flat. Put a bit of glue on this one because it, not too much, but enough to glue it down. Just keep your fingers under there a bit while you're working out where it goes. And you can smish it around a little bit while it's not pushed down hard. Like that. Nice press. And then we can stick our circle on. Again, this doesn't need masses of glue. I just keep it sort of about there and you want to keep it, uh, turn it a bit so the buildings are straight. <laughs> the words are okay because they're already going up 
to the right there. You want your buildings to look level. <laughs> Make sure you don't have leaning buildings. Well, unless you want them leaning. Now what I do on the other one, let me have a look. I think I just stuck it all down. I just stuck it all down with glue. I didn't put, I put dimensionals under the cloud at the top. down a tiny bit on this one so we can come in a bit and we want now I think we'll put which cloud will we put where we could do that one that way or we could do that one that way I think I like it like that so you know what we'll put both clouds up And don't forget you can use the edges of your dimensionals. I'll just cut them in a few places. deciding whether I can see the moon or not at the bottom. I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, and then we want this one. Put another little piece on. Cover up our little mist piece. There we go. I like that cloud looks a bit funny there. Mm, I think I've stuck it on there. It's all right. Okay, so now we want some bling. On this one, I used some of these, so I'll get them out. And we're nearly done. So these are called adhesive backed sparkle gems and we just want to put so this one's going to be different because I'm using the gold ribbon on that one and that'll have a bit of sparkle so I'll probably go with something gold on that see how they look so cool and so different because I've used the different colors I've got gold ones in here actually just realized that okay we'll put one in there like we had before quite like the way I had it before. I'll go with that again. Oh, actually, the black doesn't stand out as much there, does it? Because I've done the opposite. Mm. I think we'll just have to rethink this one. <laughs> just go different. We got there another one over there one two three four five six we'll do one more little one and we'll go another one here or down here got one down there on that one but that's got more space there mm. maybe I'll just bring it down here Okay. Oh, that's cool. So once you get all the bits cut out, it didn't take too long to prepare it all. Let's just quickly whack this one on. I haven't cut the clouds out on this one though. How are we going for time? We're up to 40 minutes. I 
and I did pre pre cut some stuff. One, two, what have I got there? I'm about half up. Alright, so the other way to do this, oh hang on, I've gone out of camera. <laughs> Let me move my mat. I can't move the card. <laughs> is to stick it down like that. Take the tape off it. Oh, the backing, sorry. Take the backing off before you put it on your card. And then put the tape, put your ribbon on first. And that way, it's all stuck onto the ribbon, uh, ribbon onto the tape before you lift it. I've done that one right. Hang on, I'm having trouble with my eyes today. What am I doing? One, two. One, two. Oh yeah, that's just be an optical illusion. Okay, and then you can just lift that up. Look down it like that. Yep, that's okay. And then fold it back like that. So that's the way to do it without ripping it off the back of your card. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Love that. I love that ribbon. So that ribbon is called Knight of Navy and Gold. And it's called Glittered Ribbon. The other ribbon is... Sorry, this one, pecan pie, and it's called center stripe ribbon because it's got a center stripe. I've got my board back, haven't I? So you can see who I am. Put a bit extra glue on that. Board back down. <laughs> so you can see who I am. Alright, stick that on there like that. Get the glue off your finger. <laughs> okay, so you can sort of shimmy it around a little bit if you need to. Oh, I've got glue on the back of it. The daisies up in there. My little glue rubber. Get that off. I think I've got glue on my finger. See how that gets that off? Very handy little things those. And I do still have some for sale. Make sure that's stuck on. Look out where you want your other bits. Maybe we could do this one without clouds. Don't have to have clouds, do we? Well, the swirly background. Hang on, make sure you got your building straight, remember? Straight. Oh, these look cool. I might put the moon up this time. My thing's gone. them through there. And then 
little. Make sure you get all the backings off. You can see them usually if they're shiny a little bit like that, see? They're sticky. I'll have to straighten that up. Get my moon on. Make sure we go about there. Oh, will we put clouds on this one or not? I can't decide. I think I'll don't I, I don't think I'll do clouds on this one. I think we'll keep that bright and light and I'll use the clouds on something else. We just need to bling this one. So I'm going to put a bit of gold on this one. Gold bling. Because we've got the gold bling going on. Um, little one up there. Green. And I think I'll use the black sort of as well. Oh, that's got fluff on it. Gold, oh, pretty black and gold. Mm, I think that'll do. That's enough, right? There we go. So, that's my little adventure today for you. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you have fun creating with your kits as well and if you'd like to do a kit class with me I can do them on zoom as well like this like well I'm just video recording right now but I can do them on zoom so you can order your kits online you just go to my stampin'up.net shop now grab your kits from there and then let me know and we'll um, do a zoom together and we can create things together so thanks for watching don't forget today uh, in June there are for demonstrators there are pre-order online exclusives and the glass mat and there's also new kits out apart from this one there's some other new kits out I don't have them all yet and there's also bundles on sale so there's a lot of things happening so check out the website and the band is and I'll catch you next time ciao